Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm trying something different. This is my first portrait on this kind of paper. Of course, I did make the portrait of Billy Butcher from The Boys a while back, but I mainly used cool and warm greys on him. So I decided to try an actual portrait with a lot of different markers. I wanted to go all in and just see what would happen. I wasn't sure who to draw, but I've been wanting to draw a portrait of Patrick Bateman or Christian Bale for some time, so that's what I went with. The colouring was more than difficult, to say the least. My markers looks and dries differently on this type of paper. Then I went back and forth with a lot of different markers, trying out a few techniques and even some markers that I've never used in a portrait before. The whole process was actually funny and I enjoyed not having a strict colour palette, but this loose approach that just made it possible to try a lot of different ideas with the markers and with the light. It was the same with his hair. I found a few colors that I thought might work, but I ended up using a lot of other markers than the few I picked out in the beginning. I will say that this isn't the last time I make a portrait on this kind of paper. The biggest downside though is that this paper dries extremely quickly, which makes it really challenging to get some smooth shading in. Copic markers works of course best when the different layers isn't fully dried, so I can layer the markers on top of each other and blend them together to really get that nice and smooth touch. I think that it will be easier with time and practice of course, but something to look out for before you start a huge area of shading at least.
With his clothes down, this drawing was finally finished. I overall enjoyed the process of this piece and I'm sure that I will do more of these portraits in the future. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for future projects. Remember that you can follow me on Instagram for some progress pictures on the next drawings I'm working on. But with that said, I hope to see you all in the next video.